Hello! Today I'm going to be making a brew. Uh, what I'm going to be making is called the Fruit Salad Ale. Um, I got this recipe from Cooper's website, the Cooper's Brewery um, in Australia. And um, you can also download this PDF from uh, a blog that I put together at uh, DIYBeerTalk.wordpress.com. And if you look under the recipes, you can find various um, um, flash brewing type recipes, adding additional flavors to the Cooper's beer kits, etc. Now, most of these recipes, or all of them, have come from Cooper's Brewery themselves. And uh, anyway, this is a brew that they put together and they sold to their customer base in Australia. Um, it, it, uh, it's an interesting beer. Um, they uh, take the Austra Cooper's Australian Pale Ale and uh, uh, use light dry malt extract. Now in my case, when I'm making this beer today, I'm gonna use Cooper's Unhop light malt extract uh, and some uh, light dry malt extract that I picked up. Uh, and uh, they also add Cascade and Amarillo hops for additional flavoring and aroma. Now, uh, they, they recommend with this beer uh, using the um, uh, Cooper's Commercial Ale Yeast and you can get that from the Cooper's Pale Ale Bottles. Um, I have a video on explaining how to do that if you can find the Cooper's bottled beer near you. If not, using the yeast under the lid and maybe uh, some more actually adding up some uh, additional, maybe two sachets of yeast or just the yeast under the lid to get it going uh, should be fine. Now, um, the description that they provide says the Cascade and Amarillo are hop varieties with a reputation for producing highly aromatic and intensely flavored ales. Cascade tends to produce citrus notes while Amarillo will throw passion fruit and rock melon like characters. Together they make a great combination. Fermenting this brew with active Cooper's commercial ale yeast may also add banana like esters resulting in a beer that can be drunk at a young age with a wonderful blend of fruits wafting from the glass. Uh, they also say this brew sits at the lighter end of BJCP style 10A American Pale Ale. So, let me show you what I've got <coughs> to do this brew. Um, here I have the Australian Pale Ale. I have one can of, it's 3.3 pounds of Cooper's Unhop Light Malt Extract. One pound of Grease Pilsen Light Malt Extract. Very light. One ounce of Amarillo Hops. And I have two ounces of the uh, Cascade hops. So I'm going to use all these hops. Even Now, Cooper's recipe says 25 grams of hop of Cascade of each style anyway. And that breaks out to be a slightly less than one ounce. So since measurements in the U.S. are in ounces, uh, one ounce is about 28 grams. Two ounces is about uh, 56 grams. Now I'm overdoing the Cascade a little bit. It's what I have. and I'm just going to use everything here. Um, and I have cultured the Cooper's bottle yeast. Um, my local bottle store has six packs of Cooper's. I'm, I'm fortunate enough to have it. A uh, little pricey, the beer itself, but I like the beer. And uh, so I lay, see, you can see, again, you can see my video on how I made that. Now in this case, I just saved the bottles and poured them all into this Erlmeyer flask along with the uh, uh, fermentable that, to kick start up the yeast. Now. Everything looks like it's going, um, and I am going to pitch the um, Australian, I mean the, the sachet of yeast that's underneath the lid as well, so just in case, so we get everything going. All right, so later on, I'll do that. I also have everything fermented, I mean not fermented, sanitized. I have my fermenter over here. I'll, get, I'll show a pic quick picture of that in a second. So on my cart, I have the box of ingredients. Uh, my uh, cultured uh, Cooper's commercial ale yeast. Uh, 
the fermenter, which is completely sanitized, and everything that I'm going to be utilizing with the brew uh, in the lid of the Cooper's fermenter. Um, I just sanitized with uh, Five Star, and uh, I have the Five Star sanitizer. Uh, I saved the, the liquid, so I can use that for e sanitizing either bottles or my kegs when I'm kegging. All right, so I got my cart. Let me uh, take it to my brew room, and uh, we'll, we'll get this thing uh, put together. I'm not going to show you all the details of it. Basically, I'm going to use a burner to uh, get my unhop light malt extract uh, uh, dissolved, and then I'm going to... Um, uh, uh, boil the um, uh, the the hops for uh, about uh, uh, actually I'll let them steep for about thirty minutes with the uh, liquid of the uh, dry malt extract. So um, you know I'm, I'm going to take the uh, dry malt extract off the uh, uh, burner and uh, uh, so it's just you know after after it hit a boil stage and then just let the hops steep uh, for 30 minutes so I can get all the flavor and aroma and then I'll add that to the fermenter along with the uh, uh, malt extracts and then uh, I'm going to top it off I have some filter water I'm going to top that off with uh, uh, up to the, the 21 or 20 23 liter mark and then add to the uh, uh, Cooper's commercial ale yeast. So, and I'm going to ferment this here at a temperature of about uh, 24C is what Cooper's recommends. That's how you get the uh, fruity esters. This is called a fruit salad ale. Maybe I'll go around 23C. Uh, so I'll be fermenting it actually here in this office because my usual place that I fer uh, ferment is uh, uh, in the cooler range. It's actually 50 to 60 degrees. Perfect for lagering still but not for making a fruit salad ale. So here we are uh, to my brew room. And uh, I'm not, again, I'm not gonna show you all the details just because uh, it'll be cumbersome. Um, I'll see what I can do. Cheers. Okay, so I filled up my uh, pan with the uh, filtered water and I added the um, uh, Breeze Light Dry Pilsen malt. So, of course, I'll need to be careful about boil over since I filled it all the way up to the top. Um, I don't need it to boil too long. I just want to get it to boiling temperature and then I'm going to steep the uh, uh, hops. So, I brought the uh, malt extract wort uh, to a boil and I'm going to let it go for three minutes. And uh, I'm also heating up some water to help get the uh, uh, malt extract syrup out of the cans. Uh, one thing, it, the croising collar and lid that comes with the Cooper's fermenter is quite handy to, I just wanted to mention this, uh, it's quite handy to, you know, uh, pour it around and, and, and hold your sanitized utensils, etc. Like I've got a funnel in there and uh, my siphon, which I'm not using too often on here, but uh, I, I just, you know, have it ready. Um, can opener, scissors, uh, and, a, and the spoon. So just a, just a thought, uh, thought I'd mention that. Cheers. So I now have uh, uh, all the, the cans completely dissolved into the fermenter. Um, and I'm just waiting for my uh, hop liquid to uh, steep for another 10 minutes or so. And then I'm gonna add them to the fermenter through the strainer. And that's where I am right now. All right, so I've got this uh, uh, fruit salad ale now up here in my room where I'm gonna set the temperature to around 72 degrees Fahrenheit, um, about 21, 22 degrees Celsius. Uh, I just got a hydrometer reading and it looks like um, it's about 10, 52 um, and the temperature currently is sitting at 24 which is good to get it started um, I'll keep an eye on it for the first five hours and then I'll pitch this um, sachet of uh, Cooper's uh, so I, I want the uh, commercial yeast 
to try and get a head start and see if it, that that'll be in control of the fermentation so to get those banana slight banana flavor i don't want an overwhelming banana flavor uh but anyway it's called the fruit salad ale so we'll keep you up to date cheers it's been uh two days since i um pitched the yeast into the uh fermenter for the fruit salad ale and um it looks like it's gone through based on the eyeball uh observation it's gone through most of its fermentation process. I checked on it yesterday as well, and there was a high cro croissant up here. Um, the, the temperature is sitting at 24, so this isn't surprising. Uh, when I came in, I had that waft of smell that they talked about on the uh, description of the, uh, the fruit flavors. I could smell um, some uh, slight banana and uh, uh, some of the other um, fruity smells like melon. Um, again, that's the desire for this beer. That's why it's called the Fruit Salad Ale. You know, considered sort of a Belgian type style beer. Uh, the Cooper's yeast, the commercial yeast, does have uh, characteristics of uh, Belgian um, style uh, yeast. Uh, Michael Jackson, the famous uh, beer hunter, once uh, called the Sparkling Ale um, sort of a Belgian style beer. I don't remember the exact quotes. So, uh, that's what we have here right now. Um, I'll, let, me, let me give you a little closer look of, of this. So yeah, it's at 24 as I said. Um, and you can tell the, uh, the high activity is, is gone. So right now I guess I'll take out the Croizen collar. And I think I'm going to move it to a cooler place. Uh, just, you know, maybe uh, where the temperature is in the 60s range. Obviously, I've uh, got most of the fermentation completed, the active fermentation, and you've got your estery flavors that sometimes are considered undesirable, for, but for this style of beer, have been achieved. So we'll take care of that now. And uh, so I think that's it. Let's uh, move on and cheers. All right, um, so I, what I poured here in this fancy mason jar that I have is a little, I just did a, wanted to get a small glass of uh, my last beer that I made. Um, I made a, a lager using Machuica, Machuica hops, uh, just one ounce of Machuica hops, and I used the saf lager yeast um, and a uh, 3.3 uh, uh, pounds of Breeze malt extract. Now it's a little early. I think it's only about five weeks, but it's in my keg, and I'm just going to keep aging it. Um, it smells nice. I know it, it could it could benefit from about another month of time, but uh, you get the good uh, Mochueca hop smell, I guess, the lemon lime flavor, and it's just a smooth uh, smooth uh, smelling beer with the malt. Otherwise, so here's to the beer. Cheers. Mm. Yeah, it's a smooth beer. Got the hop flavor in there. Um, again, I think it could really improve with time, but here's to beers. Cheers, everybody. Mm, beer.